Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking all about broad match and the three-prong approach we use to scale a broad match effectively. Um, so if anyone's in the industry, they know that Google's really trying to push uh, this match type because of the potential to scale beyond just search intent, right, and go for user intent. Um, this is a common targeting strategy used inside Facebook a lot. So it's kind of their way of competing with social platforms, right? Um, so we'll go into the strategy behind exact match versus broad match. So your exact match variations, they're going to be um, basically when you're targeting mortgage, you're only going to get mortgage. When you're targeting mortgage loans, it's only going to be about what the actual search is, that specific mortgage loan search, right? Um, when we go back to campaigns really quickly um, and dive into the broad match variation of this, um, as you can see, there is not um, any brackets around it. Now, house mortgage or mortgage will trigger words that are outside of your target, right? So this could trigger banks in my area, refinances near me, things like that, right? Because what Google's trying to do is that they're trying to find um, someone who is likely to convert that may be outside of your search requirements based on, you know, the sites they're looking at, their past search history, right? Um, really just their future intent. Um, there's a lot of fear in, in the the uh, pay-per-click in Google Ads space around broad match because it takes away control, right? However, you can give it guardrails that help um, protect your traffic. So what we did first is we took our highest quality campaign and also seemingly one of our more expensive CPA cost per acquisition campaigns, um, and that's our general mortgage terms, right? So this is for a mortgage client, and there's a handful of uh, there's a handful of keywords we target like first time home buyer FHA but our highest quality and most expensive are just general mortgage terms people searching for mortgage companies home loan companies lenders um, because those are people that are really uh, focused on getting pre-approved today right and while this campaign is around the mortgage world you can use this for any industry so we're taking our highest quality campaign and we're converting it to um, to broad match and um, you can just look at these numbers right the reason why I like this is because Okay, so let's scroll down to, this is uh, yesterday's traffic, 33% impression share, right? So there's still, you know, a good 20 to 40% percent you could scale up, but look at these cost per clicks. They're starting to get um, really expensive, and that can impact your bottom line revenue, um, return on investment, things like that. Um, so what broad match, it gives you the ability to kind of inject your campaign with lower cost um lower cost clicks, and as it gets smarter and you feed in some of that offline conversion data, the quality does pick up, right? Um, so as you can see, you know, we had three clicks, uh, two conversions, 33 or 66% conversion rate, you know, really high, but we capped out. There's only so much we could do there. Um, however, when we made a broad match variation of this or version of this campaign, um, you can see the scalability is insane here. So we generated 46 clicks, five leads, and our impression share was below 10%. Um, so there's in the ability to scale this up to 33%. So if we tripled this, you, know, you could be seeing you know, upwards of 15 leads in a single day with this campaign. Um, however, you really want to ensure that you're protecting from bad traffic from day one. Um, so the first thing we do here is we have a database of negative keywords. We have bad credit keywords, we have refinance keywords, mortgage competitors, rates, products not offered, undesirable. So if you go into one of these campaigns um, or one of these lists, you see you know, the types of um, phrase and exact match search terms that I don't want to offer. So what I, or trigger. So what I do here is I apply these lists to my broad match campaign. And that helps, you know, curb the uh, the type of searches I'm getting from day one. So on my bad credit negative keyword list, I'm not triggering any bad credit searches, right? Um, this is the first method to protecting your broad match campaigns. 
The second method is actually going to be click fraud protection. Um, so about you know one in every eight to one in every nine clicks is fraudulent, right? Um, so you have to be really careful when you put a broad match campaign because you're going to start to trigger low quality essentially lower quality clicks from day one, right? So you want to make sure you have a third-party vendor like, uh, I use ClickGuard, right? Um, you can use ClickSees. There's, there's a lot of them out there. But when you actually dive into these reports, you see what you're able to save. Um, now we'll go back to the dashboard. So in the last week, about 6% of our traffic is fraudulent. And when you're spending you know, 10 to $12 a click, that really adds up. And so, you know, ClickGuard is saying we've been able to reallocate $404. So the way ClickGuard does it is that every time they get a flagged or a, a fraudulent, you know, competitor, a click farm, they hold on to that IP address and then put it into the IP exclusions list in your campaign. And you can go in here and you can, you know, you can start to see the traffic uplift over time. Um, you know, these campaigns have just a ton of different data. You can go into what keywords are driving, you know, the most fraud. So in this example, we're seeing a lot of first-time home buyer, home buyer programs, um, general mortgage. And this is a really great way to clean up some of that broad match, um, you know, poorer quality traffic. Um, throughout, you know, the first couple weeks of your campaign. Um, but overall, you know, broad match is an evolving topic, right? Google's really trying to push it hard. And I do see, you know, where it can be very successful if you're starting to tap out the limitations on your exact match campaigns, right? It's different, um, but the scalability is unbelievable, right? Um, you know, one more thing I want to kind of talk about is bidding strategy so we'll dive right back in here the bidding strategy for broad match um, it's going to be automated right so broad the the match type is so automated and so you kind of have to let google just run it so we threw the this on a maximized conversion we set a, a cpa at 200 it hasn't even hit that right you saw yesterday's cpa was 107 dollars um so this is a great way like i said to to just flood your pipeline with leads. Um, and if you're seeing leads that are lower quality, you know, make sure the ones that are qual are quality, you're going up into tools and settings and dropping that into the, your offline conversion bucket. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick glance at broad match and how we configure our campaigns for um, lead generation. If you're interested in more videos, you know, like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you on the next one.